doesn't have to be, oh gosh, there is a big tree and behind it Dracula. <laughs> it's more than that. You bring in characters, you recognize the characters, that recognition will have a stronger effect on you. Well, actually, I think Dracula fans are all very grateful for that because uh, Christopher Lee had never got to England before in any previous Anna Dracula film, and yet in the original book, that's what it was all about, <coughs> to Victorian England. And a lot of those themes you mentioned are actually present. You think we have thought? Yeah, it's absolutely. there. In fact, Chris made it clear in a quite a bit smaller part was than usually for him, but he said, oh my God, why, why wasn't it before? He, he was aware of it. Yeah. And it's continued with casting as well. I mean, that was the other point. Hammer had a tradition that casting came from the casting director initially, who prepared a list of names for each character which is submitted to the producer and the director to choose from. That's not how I work. I was never, ever put into a situation like that at the BBC before. Casting is one of the most elementary, my dear Watson, you would say. It's my conception, my ideas. I close my eyes. I see the character as flesh and blood on the, the screen. So I see a face. I don't leave it to a wonderful dear Jimmy Leavitt, who was the casting director for all those years. So I said, can we do it now different? 